Hello, it's me Tina Thomas and I have Richa with me. So we are going to do another role play. This is about a 28 year old boy. He's a footballer, right? Yes, he's exactly. He's a keen footballer and he's having a ligament tear. It's, he's mm -hmm. having an ACL tear. Let me not break the suspense fully. Okay. Yeah. So here I'm going to take the role as the nurse and Richa is going to take the role as the patient, like the footballer, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. So we'll see what we are going to do in the role play and how we are going to address with the patient's concern, right? All right, let's okay. get started. Yes. All right, so I hope you have prepared. Oh, yeah, yes. All right, so we'll have five minutes and you can start speaking now. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tina Thomas mm -hmm. and I'm a registered nurse working in this hospital ward. So you might be Tom, right? Yes, I yes. am. Yes. Tom, so I have some notes about you and I would like to know more about it. First and foremost, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm having a very terrible day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you told me that you're having a very terrible day. Could you please tell me in detail what is bothering you? Oh, uh, I'm in so much pain right now mm -hmm. so I was actually playing football mm -hmm. and then something happened to me like uh, I met with an accident there in the ground mm -hmm. and right now I'm in severe pain and I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that that's why you have been brought here mm -hmm. and we are definitely here to take care of you. Okay so you were telling me you were playing football right? That's right. Okay so and you know what has happened to you now? Uh, well actually I don't know the doctor said he will run some tests and mm -hmm. let me know the results. Okay so the results are out and the thing is you are having something called as ACL that means it is anterior cruciate ligament. Nothing mm -hmm. much to say. I'll say you just briefly. It is a ligament tear that has happened to your leg oh. where you need to take a lot of rest. Oh, well, that mm -hmm. sounds really bad because mm -hmm. I'm a footballer and mm -hmm. I'm the captain of my football oh, okay. team as well. Mm -hmm. And we do have a lot of upcoming tournaments. Mm -hmm. So when you say rest, how long exactly are you referring to? I really understand that you are a football player and you are having upcoming matches coming now. Mm -hmm. So as you asked me regarding how long will it take for you to, you know, yeah. keep, keep yourself in rest, it depends upon person to person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes for one person it can be more than a year maybe around 8 to 12 months it depends okay oh. so I really understand what you're going through so we'll just talk with the doctor and find out what measures we can do so that you know we can fasten your recovery process is mm -hmm. that okay with you well that's not all right with me you know mm -hmm. because I'm in severe pain right now mm -hmm. and uh, the news which you told me right now is also very upsetting so mm -hmm. I really don't know what to do because it's all about my career and my passion mm -hmm. don't worry I'm here to help you out so if I need to provide some care and I have to do some treatment options I would like to ask you some more questions. So if you don't mind, may I ask you some questions? Sure. Okay. So you were telling me that you are having pain, right? That's right. So could you please tell me more about your pain? What sort of pain are you having? Uh, it's kind of like a throbbing pain, throbbing I would say. Pain. I mm -hmm. feel like uh, my flesh is actually pricking. Pricky? It's mm -hmm. kind of like a pricky pain okay. and it's really severe. I don't know how to describe it. Okay. So I will give you a pain score mm -hmm. uh, from 0 to 10, where 0 is the ten, uh, least pain and 10 is the worst pain. How much would you rate your pain? I would say it's 11. It's 11. too bad. Oh, so you are having so much of pain mm -hmm. and you're going through it. And how about your mobility? Are you able to walk or are you able to, you know, at least stand by yourself? Are you able to do that? I didn't try standing up, uh, mm -hmm. but I can move my toes. You can move your toes. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So you are having a score of 11 and only you are able to move your toes, yeah. right? And would you like to know about the treatment options that we are I going to would, do? I would, yes. Mm -hmm. So if you can tell me about what I can do to get a speedy recovery, that will be really beneficial. Definitely, I will tell you what we can do about it. First thing, as we already discussed, is what we need to do is you need to take a sufficient amount of rest. Okay, then we need to apply ice pack mm -hmm. every two hours and then that should be kept for 20 minutes. Okay, okay. and then you know, we need to wrap a bandage. Mm -hmm. around your ligament tear and then you have to key, keep your knee propped up under a pillow okay so the positioning is also very very important mm -hmm. yes and don't worry all these things we are going to do to you okay okay yes and then and you were telling me you're concerned about your career right absolutely and because I always mm -hmm. wanted to be a footballer mm -hmm. and I have a very major tournament mm -hmm. coming as well mm -hmm. so can you tell me something else like an alternative in which I can actually get a speedy recovery yeah so the only alternate method what we can do is it's a surgical option. Mm -hmm. So are you willing for that? Could you please tell me more details yes. about the so surgery? Yes, it's, it's a surgical option. So if we are going to do a surgery on that, for that also you will need to take around 8 to 12 months of bed rest. Oh, okay. okay, so if it is just a ligament tear without a surgery, it will take more than a year mm -hmm. for you to be in taking bed rest. Okay? okay, so if it is a surgery, it is just 8 to 12 months. How does that sound? 
sounds really, you know, really worrying, worrying for, for me. Mm -hmm. So will I be able to play my football again, like, you know, yes. ever again? There, there are a lot of people who come here with these type of problems, then they go back and do their normal routines. Mm -hmm. So nothing much to worry about okay. it. Okay. And then there is something we can do, a small rehabilitation therapy, so that even you can resume faster to in your career. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will talk to the doctor. The doctor is going to come and talk to you. He will describe and tell you everything in detail, what are the surgical methods, what we can do. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how you are going to go forward with that. Sure. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Anything else to be asked? No, nothing else. Okay. I just hope I can get a happy news from the doctor. Definitely. And don't worry about it. You are safe here. And let the doctor come and we'll see what is going to happen. All right. Okay? Thank you very much, Nurse. Yes. Thank you. All right. So by this, we have come to the end of this role play. Yes, Rina. Okay, so actually in this role play, uh, it's about a footballer who is having an ACL tear. Mm -hmm. And the main scenario in this is the patient is worried about like how long should he take rest, right? Yeah, especially yes. because when it is ACL mm. tear, the mm. rest period will be longer. It yes. will be almost one year or mm. more than that. For some people, it yes. will not even recover Recover, too. yeah. So here we need to provide a lot of reassurance like how Tina did. Mm. And for more details about how you can create sentences, we will get into the feedback, feedback session. session. Keep watching. Hi everyone, this is Richie Caroline from IALT. So we just now saw a video where we are talking to a 28-year-old footballer who suffered from an anterior cruciate ligament injury. And he's really worried about his sporting career and we just saw how Tina Miss tried to uh, convince the patient and create hope for him, right? So now let's see how we can pick the keywords in these particular tasks and create a sentence in a simple way. Let's get started. So our first task. Greet the patient and inform him about his condition. So here we have two segments. So the keywords would be greet, inform about condition. So these are the two keywords you have to cover in task number one. So how to do this? So since this is a non-case where the patient is in the hospital ward and you know the patient already. So for example, in this case, you can address the patient as Mr. David. So as a start, you can go like this. Good morning, Mr. David. How are you feeling today? So, Mr. David will say an answer to that. So, make sure that you respond to it as well. Sometimes he might say, I'm feeling all right, thank you. Or he might say, I'm not feeling good. Okay. So, in either ways, you have to respond, right? So, how to do that? If Mr. David is saying, I'm good, thank you, you have to say, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And if he's saying, I'm not feeling good, how will you respond? Instead of asking him what happened, like as if you don't know what happened, you can actually say, I'm sorry to hear that, but don't worry, everything will be all right. Okay, so this is a difference or this is a different way how you can provide an initial assurance. Now, after greeting, the second thing you have to do is inform about his condition, right? So, you can go like this. So, I'm here as instructed by the doctor to inform about your condition. On examination, we found out that you're having a ligament tear because you met with an accident by playing the football match. So this is, another, this is one way of doing it or else you can say that. So uh, Mr. David, I can say that you were brought to the emergency department as you suffered an injury during, play, during the match. And based on our examination, we found out that you are having an anterior cruciate, cruciate ligament injury. Okay, so in either ways you can inform. So our ultimate idea here is to inform the patient what his condition right now is okay so after you inform that the second task is console him and politely ask him how the incident happened okay so here are two segments console and the second one would be uh, ask about the incident like how it took place mm? so how can we do this here so after you inform the condition to the patient you can ask a question like you know, do you have any concerns or questions about your condition so he will ask you something as an answer to that you can get into task number two where you are consoling him so how can we console here okay you can use n number of acknowledgement statements so here i'm going to say it's understandable to feel upset mr david a very simple one okay but in order to help you in a better way i would like to know how the incident took place i did the second part all right so that's how we'll be doing task number two let's look into task number three Ask what are the difficulties he is facing now, pain, pain scale, mobility, what are the keywords here? So here difficulties facing now, pain, pain scale, mobility. So these are the information we have to cover in this particular task. So let's see how we can do task number three. So 
Before this, the previous explanation is where we are inquiring about the incident, how it took place. So as an answer to his explanation, you can say, oh, that must have been really painful. Maybe because he has explained like, you know, I was giving a huge shot and the strike was really heavy and I heard a popping sound on my knee, but I didn't pay attention. Maybe he's giving his explanation there. So as an answer to that, you can say, oh, that must have been really painful. So let me just check with you. Do you experience pain right now? See, I smoothly get into ta go into task number three there. Okay, so for the first question I'm asking is, do you have pain right now? So if you're saying, yes, I'm having pain, you can say, I'm sorry to hear that, but don't worry. We will provide you some medication to elevate the pain. Okay, so the second question after you asked about the pain is pain scale. So you can say, so Mr. David, if I give you a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is no pain and 10 is the worst pain, how much would you rate your pain? So he will give you a score. Based on that, you can acknowledge. And then the last question is mobility. So you can ask him a question like, are you able to move your leg or your knees? Some question about the mobility, okay? So after you gain information, the next thing you have to do is say thank you because he spent some time to answer your questions, right? So as a courtesy, say thank you there. Now, task number four, explain the treatment options. Rest, apply eyes every two hours for 20 minutes, wrap a bandage, keep the knee propped up on pillows. Yeah. So here, all the information given in the brackets should be definitely informed. So here the main key element or the keyword here is treatment options. Okay. So let's see how we can go into this particular task. All right. So I'm going to start by saying, Mr. David, I understand that you're having a very difficult time and you're concerned about your recovery. Let me explain you with some measures how you can control the symptoms that you're experiencing right now. Hmm? Please make sure that you take adequate rest for your speedy recovery. Along with that, you can apply ice every two hours for 20 minutes, which will help you to ease the pain. And after that, you can also say that in order to reduce your swelling, I can help you with, I can provide you a bandage so that you can wrap the bandage around the swelling. Okay. And then you can say that as a comfort position, uh, please keep your knee propped up on the pillows. So this is how you can cover task number four. So let me just say that sentence again. So I can say, I understand that you're having a difficult time and you're really concerned about your recovery, but don't worry, I will help you with some treatment options. Please make sure that you take adequate rest and in order to ease your pain, please apply ice every two hours for 20 minutes. And for the swelling, you can wrap a bandage. And as a comfort position, please keep the knee propped up on the pillows. Will you be able to do that? Or you can ask, how does that sound to you? So that's how you can start and finish task number four. What about task number five? When he arises concern about his sporting career, empathetically tell him surgery is the only option, eight to 12 months of rest. Okay, so here maybe he's asking you a question like, so um, you told me ha I have to take rest. So will I have to take rest for a long time or is there any other alternative in, through which I can recover very quickly? Okay, so in that case, you have to do task number five by saying that surgery is the only option to have a speedy recovery. However, even if you do a surgery, you have to take rest for eight to 12 months. So that is the information that you're providing in task number five. So let's pick out the keywords here. So the first keyword is, um, he's asking about the sporting career. So you have to mention about the sporting career. The second one is empathetically. That is the second keyword, okay? Because you need to keep that in mind. Whenever you see words like this, you have to provide a lot of assurance and emotional support there. Mm? Empathetically, tell him about the surgery and eight to 12 months of rest. So these are the three keywords in task number five. So you can start the conversation by saying, Mr. David, I understand that you're the captain of the football team and you're really worried about the upcoming matches and the tournaments, okay? So as you asked to me for an alternative, the only thing we can suggest you is to perform, undergo a surgery for a speedy recovery. So after undergoing the surgery, your recovery will be between, between 8 to 12 months of time. So do you want me to talk to the doctor regarding it? So something like that and you can finish it, okay? Or else you can uh, give an assurance like, so is, is that okay? Or you can say that the doctor will be here soon and you can discuss it with the doctor or something like that and finish it off, okay? So that is task number five. Task number six, reassure the patient with proper rehabilitation, he can resume his sports career. So here the keywords are reassuring, 
proper rehabilitation, resume his sports career. Okay, so how can we do it? So whenever there is reassure in your task, you can simply start your role play, your task explanation by saying, I reassure you that, okay? So a simple way of doing this particular task will be by saying, I reassure you that Mr. David, if you follow my instructions and the doctor's advice with proper rehabilitation, you can get back to your sports career within no time. This is the easiest way of doing this particular task, okay? So by this, we saw how to pick the keywords, connect it and create a simple sentence and complete all your tasks. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. So if yes, let us know. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. IILT, it's my cup of tea.